What up everyone? This is Jordan here with Jordan Ring Photography and we're gonna be doing a fun headshot portrait lifestyle artsy photo shoot today. So we are here in Silver Lake, California. I just went up these steps so I'm a little out of breath. And not only did I walk up these stairs but I brought my handy dandy bag full of goodies around so what I got here for this photo shoot is my Westcott rapid box it's my soft box I've got my flashpoint stand got a reflector if I need I've got my Godox adapter for my speed lights or for my flashpoint evolve, which is right in here. And then I've got a couple sandbags just in case because it is a little bit windier up here. Again, we're uh, right up here. Not too bad of a view. All right, let's go on inside and let's meet the model. She's not ready yet. Okay. So. Yeah, we're on. We're going live right now. <laughs> and then in the camera bag of gear. We'll be using the. Sony A7R2, and we're gonna play with the uh, 24 to 70 G Master first, and then we're gonna bust out the 85 1.4 G Master. Hey, <laughs> who's this? Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm excited to shoot with Jordan today. Cool. What's up, Kelly? And who do we have here? Hi, I'm Crystal, costume designer and stylist. What's up, Crystal? Thanks for being a part of this today, guys. Where can everyone find you online? Uh, my artist page is Kellya Music. Well, actually on Facebook, it's just Kellya. So K-E-L-L-E-I-A. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer. Um, this is my home in Echo Park. It's really messy right now, but... Look at this, by um, the way. Yeah, that's my studio setup. Yeah, she's, she's no joke. She's not messing around. Yeah, gonna make some music after this shoot. Definitely. Um, and on Instagram, at Kellya Music. Um, Are you on Twitter? I am on Twitter. What's your Twitter? The same, at Kellya Music. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. All right, and then what about you, Crystal? Do you want to give a little plug-in shout-out? Pike, Los Angeles. Uh, if you want a second skin that has the same integrity as your first, go to Pike, Los Angeles. Cool. Someone said audio, no video. Let me make sure they're hearing video or hearing audio. Did you know that eighty percent of social media like videos are? watched without audio. Dude, I mean, I do that. Yeah. I don't open them all the time. So this is all handmade by Crystal. Oh, wow. This top. That's fantastic. Or did you turn Thank off the you. line? Oh, no, it's still on. Okay, yeah. Someone said they're not hearing audio. She made Just this fine. out of a comforter. Oh, cool. An upcycled comforter. That's crazy. And, yeah. She wow. designed the costume for my first music video. Wow. That's how we met. You are a true yes. artist. Yes. Everything I'm wearing, I made. That's, That's how you awesome. got to do it, is be your art. Absolutely. So, yeah. Wear your art, be your art. Yeah. Very cool. Do you want to fit? Let's get to it. Jewelry. All right. Oh, cool. Do you want to do this next? So we're going to continue setting this stuff up here. Um, yeah, we're going to do some off-camera flash outdoors. <laughs> And then we've got some really nice light that's pouring into her place right here. So I'm going to try and get some shots going in here. I'd love to blur the background. 
Um, it's going to be a little tough because I'm going to be so close to the subject, but I will do my best because if you see what's behind me, <gasps> yeah, got to be careful there. Okay. <laughs> so, let's try this here. So are you, you're just getting like my face mostly. Yeah. Or like my like bust. Yeah, from the bust to the top of the head. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. Let's try some shots here first. Okay. Like um, so you're gonna take a little step back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look how good the lighting is on her face right here. If she ever wants to do any videos in the future, she should do them right here. Really? Yeah. Okay. And then let's have you hold this. You can. Do it on me real quick. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, the lighting here is great. Okay. So Right now I'm at 24 millimeters. Um, this is a 24 to 70 lens. Ideally, I'd love to be at 70 millimeters for a portrait, but um, let me show you right now if I do 24 millimeters versus 70 from this distance, the difference. So that's at 70, mm -hmm. and that's at 24. Mm. But look at that light, it's so soft on her whole body. It's a nice glow. Cool. Okay, so let's take a few like that to fire away. <clears throat> Probably just do like 50 millimeters there. It's nice right there. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. Very nice. One, two, three. Okay. Nice. One, two, three. One, two, three. This colors look great on you, by the way. Very I color coordinated. Thank you. Look at that. Yeah, I wanted to pop. pop awesome. No flash needed here. Now what we could do is we could do a flash behind her, which would act as a hair light, and then we can also bounce it back the other way, which would create some glow on the wall or some vignetting. One, two, three. Nice. Nice. Well, let me show you what these look like here. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Ooh, wow. These are Ooh, fun. that's nice. Yeah. Look at that. That's great. Very cool. So what I try and do is I keep the ISO as low as possible to keep it as sharp as possible. I can actually lower this ISO to 50. And this lens only goes to f2.8, but I try, well, it's as low as it can go. The other one will do 1.4, so it'll blur the background more. Nice. And then I like to use the eye autofocus because right now it's wanting to focus on the net in front of her face. Mm -hmm. But this camera is so freaking fantastic that it can catch all those shots. Nice. Ooh. And I don't even have to tell her what to do because she just knows what to do. She just knows how to work the camera. <laughs> we did a video and photos the other day. Um, you want to plug that in? Tell oh, us who you were. Yeah. So Jordan came to my music video release party at Cheetah's and. It was really dim lighting with like red lights and um, the manager wouldn't let him use flash, but he, he, he took awesome shots yeah. um, and also took some video. So I'm stoked to see that all. But I, I saw some of the, just the raws and they were great. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. She's a natural, she knows what's up. 
Okay, let's have you take a little step forward mm -hmm. towards me. Okay, and then just adjusting the focal length here to 35. One, two, three. Three. If you go too low on a focal length, this close to someone, then you're going to see the barrel distortion and it makes their head maybe look longer. And we don't want her to have a longer head. She already has a good size head. One, perfect, good, just like that. One, two, three. Nice, nice, cute, all right, let's take a look at these, mm -hmm. Crystal come over here, oh those were from the other day, <laughs> pretty, is not light so nice? It's really cool. soft. Oh yeah, you don't. You, it looks like you have, you know. Like in a studio. Ooh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. I love that one. Oh my gosh. So yeah. cute. Right? Yeah. It's so natural. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Great job. So, so you did her makeup. No, her I did wardrobe, her hair and wardrobe. Hair and wardrobe, mm -hmm. and you did your own makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent yeah. job, both yes. of you. Thank you. Okay, very cool. <laughs> um, now, I think because this outfit's dope, I think we should take this outfit outside and okay. then we should like do some other shots in the alleyway. Okay. Do you, do you need okay. shoes? Um, I mean, I no. Think no. It'll be more like up close, like portrait. Yeah, yeah. This won't be still be portrait. Like, I'll do three quarter shots, but I won't Are be getting your get feet and stuff. Um, so more waist pencil. up? Yeah, like waist up and then also head shots, so from the bust to the top of the head. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, so I need to set all this stuff up. It's going to take a second. She's awesome. Great job! so nice when you don't have to direct the model like they just know what they're doing she just loves being in front of the camera so this next shot here um, we're gonna take some shots down this little alleyway um, it's the only shaded area I could find in this uh, 500 foot vicinity everything is just pouring in with sunlight and uh, we don't want to shoot in nice bright sunlight because it creates too harsh of shadows and um, I'm sure there's guys that do it. I just don't know the techniques, I guess, to do that. I always in softer lighting with a shade. And then um, I use my flash off camera as a key light, and then sometimes a reflector or uh, an additional flash as a fill. And then I'll usually use the sun as a kicker, which lights up their hair, but in something like this, we have to improvise, and we don't have that. Um, all of these little flakes of sun coming in are gonna create some light on her face. Uh, hopefully there's not a spider in there. It's gonna jump on her. But uh, what I'm gonna do is just set all this stuff up. So basically this thing right here 
is a Godox bracket and it goes on top of the stand. And again, that allows me to put my flash mounted directly onto the stand. Uh, it's one of the only brackets I know of that exists um, with Bowen's mount soft boxes. So this is the Bowen's, Bowen's mount and the speed ring. And then this connects right into here. Snaps right into place like that. Now if I wanted, I could shoot the flash without this, but it'll just be too harsh on the subject's face. This softens it up. It's like shooting outside with clouds in the sky as opposed to direct sunlight. It's just a natural softbox. And then with the Evolve 200, this thing's awesome, um, 200 watts of fury, uh, we can use either the, um, let me see, we can either use, I'm forgetting the name here, um, <laughs> the traditional flash, there's a name for it, or we can use the bare bulb flash, um, I prefer the bare bulb flash. It spreads out more evenly. It's a little warmer tone. But what's nice about this is it has a modeling light. The bare bulb doesn't have that. So you can kind of see that. Who knew you were going to get an education today? Bearable flash. Huh. Wow, would you look at that? The, f the bulb isn't even working. I might have to go back with the original head. That's weird. This would work. Yep. This guy just goes right in there. It's kind of firm to really push it in, but it is what it is. So, this is what this looks like. I've got my sandbag in the bottom because I've already learned the tough way. And um, we're gonna bring this over here. Okay, so now I feel pretty comfortable with that being right. I'm actually going to add an additional sandbag because it is a little windy out here. Cool. 
and I'll show you the difference of what it looks like when we're shooting this way versus shooting this way. lenses now so this lens I'm putting on here is the 85 G master it is more of a portrait lens than the 24 to 70 um, I can lower the f-stop to 1.4 which is going to give a really creamy nice soft blurred out background and then we'll get some of that bokeh from the uh, the lights hitting the trees behind. Okay, so we got that there. We've got a little transmitter. With God, my light on my face looks awful. <laughs> and this is going to send a signal to the Evolve 200 flash which is going to fire. Okay. This. Cool. All right. Already working up a sweat. Schwitzen. It's hot. Yeah. Okay, now comes the fun part, everyone. Okay, so. I shoot in manual. Um, I'm gonna keep that F at 1.4. Okay, super shallow, but I have eye autofocus, so I'll land the eyes and not the nose. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it at ISO 150, and then I'm just gonna play with the shutter speed to get the right lighting. Um, then I'm also gonna play with the flash output to get the right lighting. And once I fine tune those, I adjust the ISO a little bit, anywhere from like 50 to 100. And also uh, feathering the light and moving it uh, forward and backward until I fine tuned it enough and uh, just got it right. So ideally I'd want someone standing in and uh, getting the lighting with me right, or in this case, um, I would just do it with, um, with Kelly when she comes back. So right now, so what I'm doing is I have these set for four different flashes. So my group D is covering the flash Evolve 200, and um, I'm going to bring that down to a quarter right now because we are shooting in the shade. And then you'll see. What up, Shane? What up, Christine? What up, Skylar? What up, Christine? What up, Julia? What up, Adam? Yes, it's a beautiful wagon outside. What up, Franco? Hey, Dad. Hey, Mom. Hey, uh, is, I'm sorry, is it Dava or Dava? Ashley, Jerry. What's up, guys? Thanks for joining. Hi, Donine. What's up, Aaron? Hi, Thomas. Welcome from Germany. Ah, my grandpa was from Rendsburg, Germany. Paul Ortega has joined. Alexander Mathias, my Irish buddy, plays a killer sax. All right, let's see here. So we've got that there. Yeah, we're gonna just have fun and try some shots. Kelly!
Kelly, we are ready for you. Oh, cool. She's got for us. Great singer, by the way. Just watch your step here. Okay. Cool. Okay, enough of me. Beautiful model, Kelly. Okay. Do you want me to be on the step? Like, right matter? at the edge of the step is perfect. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to do uh, some test shots of you, so, yeah, do your thing. If you'd like to keep us entertained, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to play for Crystal, and I, like, haven't played in so long. Yeah, see right there, it's nice, but it's too dark. So what I would do is I would lower the shutter speed. Mm -hmm. Let's bring it to a thousand, and let's see how that looks. And now we're getting it. Now it's starting to look nicer. This was at 2,000, this is at a thousand. And let's just see what 800 looks like. One, two, three. I think I like a thousand better. So basically what I'm doing is I'm underexposing the photo. As you can see on her face. It's underexposed, negative 1.7, and um, typically in a regular shot, you would have this evenly exposed at zero. But since you're adding flash, creating a bill on her, and then you've got shadows around, so it creates really nice contrast, something like that. We have a lot of people here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> like how many? I don't know, there's just a lot of people participating. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Alright, so we'll fire away some shots here. Okay. Yeah, so sometimes it's really easy to get this thing set up, and sometimes you have to do a lot more tweaking. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. I love that green behind you. It looks awesome. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to step back a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're getting so many hearts. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Cute! Yeah, nice. One, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome. I'm gonna stop saying one, two, three because you already know the drill. <laughs> awesome. Looks great. Do that again where you were looking to your left. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to get up a little bit closer now. Okay. Okay. And then pull. Yeah. You want me to say pull? Um, pull your hair around your left side so it's going right over your right shoulder. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Do you want to? See if you don't mind. selfie mode right now. Angle down. Mm -hmm. You know why we do that? Or why you guys do that? Because it's more flattering? Yeah. yeah. It makes you look smaller, a little more slim, which obviously is not an issue with you. 
but um, down is that. You shoot up like this, mm -hmm. it makes you look more authoritative and stronger. You're like, I'm the shit. Right. And then straight on is more inviting, how you'd welcome someone. Mm -hmm. Hold just like that. Right there. One, two, three, right into the lens. Let's take a look at some of these. Okay. You want to bring the camera on the screen here so I can see what we're doing. So this type of lighting could never be achieved with just regular sunlight and the harsh sunlight right now. The sun's basically right overhead. So that's why we have to bust out the off-camera flash and then we shoot her in the shade. And then this is how the original photos look. Completely different look. Mm -hmm. They still look awesome. It's just stylistically, it's different. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. I like it.